Welcome to PSFK. From PSFK Podcast Studios on Thursday, December 14th, 2023, this is the PSFK Earnings Call Podcast, and in this episode, Inside Costco's Earnings Call, Unveiling Resilience and Strategic Momentum. Here's how we could adapt that script to better fit a creative business audience. Welcome to a dissection of Costco Wholesale's latest earnings report. CEO Richard Galanti revealed on the call that the reported number, after considering the impact of gas deflation, reflected a positive change. A dive into the report illustrates the corporation's emphasis on various sectors, even in the absence of detailed information on their current status. The financial analysis for a change moves away from the typical focus on operational strengths and weaknesses, suggesting a shift in what's considered crucial to Costco's future trajectory. The company highlighted their progress, revealing effective management of their fresh food and sundries categories, and a growing e-commerce segment indicative of successful strategies in product selection and customer service. In discussing the investment strategy, Galanti mentioned they independently assess each area and will continue to do so. Though the call didn't unveil any solid investment plans, taking into account Costco's history, one might expect adaptive strategies aimed at evolution. Galanti also addressed their approach to inflation and wet wages, indicating managed top-scale increments for over half of their employees, independent of any external pressures. While there are gaps in the details from the earnings call, one thing is apparent. Costco is charting a steady course, backed by core business activities and digital initiatives. Even with undisclosed immediate plans, we can anticipate Costco to navigate its growth trajectory through strategic decisions and investments. There you have it, another corporation in stride, evolving for the future. You've been listening to the PSFK Earnings Call podcast, which uses artificially intelligent voices and analysis. This podcast has been designed for business research and is not intended for investment advice. Remember to subscribe to this podcast on your favorite platform.